During the fall, thousands of fish make their way upstream, and in Traverse City, they're caught at the Boardman River Weir. And the weir offers tours to the public on days when they harvest the salmon caught at the weir. So, 7 and 4's Brett Cass stopped by during a harvest last week, and he joins us live this morning to give us an inside look. Hey, Brett, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm here at the Bourbon River Weir in Traverse City, and uh, if you can see behind me, so harvesting is a process that takes place every fall. So salmon are swimming upstream during the fall, the fall weather, and then they're redirected here at the weir, and, and they're all in here basically. And, and I keep hearing them, and they like keep kind of startling me here in the dark. But there's salmon that are all collected in here. And once there's enough, that's when the company called American Canadian comes in and does a harvest. Now, uh, this harvest is uh, providing both an economic and environmental impact. When enough fish fill the Boardman River Weir in Traverse City, it's time to harvest. So we have the Boardman Weir in place from uh, the 1st of September through the end of October. Fisheries management biologist Heather Hedinger says the fall weather causes the fish to move upstream to spawn. But the warm weather the past few weeks has caused the movement to slow down. Last week really kind of got us. It was hot, slowed fish movement down, and our fish didn't handle very well. But now that we're getting some cool nights and more October-like weather, we're, we're back on track. Now that they're back on track, it's been a successful harvest. Extremely successful. <laughs> you know, We got more fish in the first harvest than we did the last two seasons. Kevin Perry is a seasonal interpreter with a DNR, and he says without the weir, thousands of salmon would all die off in a small portion of the Bourbon River that runs right through downtown Traverse City. If we didn't didn't harvest the fish here, and we're catching them before they go in that spawning mode, all these fish would die. They're at the end of their life cycle, and we'd be basically polluting the river. By harvesting, the fish are collected, calmed down in an anesthetic tank, and then sorted between species providing the DNR with an accurate count, and they're also not going to waste. Some get sold locally for human consumption. Uh, smokehouses and stuff in, in Manistee County and the Brethren Wellston area do a nice job with those fish. And then others are ground up and shipped back out west for pet food product. By utilizing the fish, providing an accurate count, and protecting the river, the DNR says the weir provides both an environmental and economic impact. By doing this, we're able to still utilize you know, the fish We'll be able to provide a salmon fishery into the Traverse City area, which has many, you know, economic benefits, you know, and to keep the other people happy so they're not having to deal with the smell and the pollution.